This is episode 57 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? Just Ask Joey. The Accidental Stoic, Part 3, Live a Life of Character. This one was a bitch slap right in my face. If Mike Tyson was the one bitch slapping me. In 1988. Not, not 1988 me, 1988 him. Yeah. Ouch. We all think we're good people. If we didn't, we would change, right? What we fail to recognize is it really doesn't matter if you are a good person, if you do bad things. Barry Bonds is the greatest hitter of all time. But if he didn't get a hit, what would he be? Exactly. A should have been. That's what we do to ourselves when we don't live a life of character. We are should have beens. They're great, but without character, you're a butthead. B-U-T. Just imagine Biff Tannen walking around with you all day. What are you doing, butthead? You sure you want to do that, butthead? Are you thinking about your family, butthead? Are you thinking about your legacy, butthead? We operate in shadows. If people don't see it, it doesn't count, right? Uh, that's a negative, Ghost Rider. It counts even more because it means you're lacking character. You're a phony. You're a fake. You present one thing, you say one thing, then you turn around and do another. You're like a famous comedian that preaches family values, goes after other comedians publicly, then gives chicks drugs and humps them. Are those family values? Uh, we have an emergency, Dr. Huxtable. If no one knows, does it count? If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? The answer is fuck yes it does. And you think it is all about you? If you didn't see it? If you didn't hear it? Whether you see it happen or not, the repercussions of a fallen tree will still be there. A shattered trunk, crushed trees around it, years of growth and stability gone. Homes of little woodland creatures destroyed. Poor squirrels. And what do you say? But I didn't see it. Maybe it didn't happen. Go F yourself, you jerk off. I'm a good person. Really, I am. I care about people. I hate when I hurt people's feelings. I love my wife. I love my daughters. I love all my friends and family. But if a tree falls in the woods, we spin the shitty situations we put ourselves in so we don't have to feel bad. If we held a mirror up to our actions, or if we let other people see the stupid shit we were doing, we would puke. Instead, we tell ourselves it's not that bad. We don't tell anyone the bullshit we're doing. And we keep doing it. Better than feeling bad, right? Why bring yourself down? That's no fun. Bring yourself down. Trust me. There is an unbelievable freedom in living a life of character. No secrets. The feeling of knowing you are doing everything the right way. Not just by your own bias standards, but by those around you. Holy shit. It's amazing amazing it's freedom it's freedom within the freedom like uber freedom not the app we all have freedom to do pretty much whatever we want most people choose poorly they eat like shit work like shit fill their minds with shit like bad tv bullshit web searching porn treating their bodies bad, and treating their relationships bad. We have all the freedom in the world, and we shackle ourselves with the decisions we make 
every single day. There are a lot of losers out there. You may be one of them. Are you? I was. Uh, You may think I, I am still one, but I don't care because I know I'm not. Why? How? Because I live a life of character. I have no secrets. I do everything with integrity. I audit my time and my actions with people both personally and professionally, and I am grateful for everything I have. I'm cool. Joe cool. Or Joey cool. I don't want to step on Snoopy's toes, you know. You need to audit yourself consistently to make sure you are living a life of character. Check all the time. We are creatures of habit, creatures of conditioning. You can condition yourself right into and right out of just about anything, good or bad. If you don't audit, you could be going off in a direction you wouldn't or shouldn't. Reflection is key. Evaluate perspectives, adjust, tweak, get better, be better consistently. If things in your life are not the way you want or envisioned, audit. Audit everything. Don't have the marriage you want? Audit yourself. Messed up kids? Audit yourself. Not enough time in the day? Audit. Not enough money? Audit. Fix you, then you can fix it. You may need to really sit down and evaluate who you are. You may not know. I didn't. My wife was the first relationship that allowed me to be me. The problem was, I didn't know who I was. I always thought relationships were the ebb and flow of who you are to keep the peace. What if you could be 100% all the time? Holy shit, that's a new concept. Maybe that's why they say good relationships are easy. You can just be you. That seems pretty easy. But what if you don't know who you are? What if part of you is an asshole? Then you need to fix it. Audit yourself. Once you audit, you never compromise. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. When you leave a crack in the door, it's much easier to blow right open. If you close it all the way, it stays shut. That's where I really messed up. My no's ended up being maybes because I left the door slightly open. I didn't slam it shut when I should have, and it became a freaking yes. It slowly opens, a little wider, then a little more, then all of a sudden, shit, it's open. It's a yes. Damn it. But I'm a good person. Well, not right now you aren't. Actions speak louder than words. How do you give a life of character? (laughs) I'm glad you asked. Do what is in the best interest of you, the good you, not the selfish dickhead you. Do what is in the best interest for your family. Do what is the best for your friends, your company, your clients, the random person walking down the street. That's character. That's integrity. Never compromise. Never waver. You'll be better for it. Your loved ones will be better for it. Everything will be better. Your life will be better. You can walk around with your head held high because the sunlight feels so damn good. Shadows are cold. Darkness is lonely. Step out and let the rays of light warm you, energize you, and show you what the world can be and should be. I wish I had this knowledge 20 years ago. Instead, I learned it the hard way. You don't have to have the same regrets I do. You can learn from my mistakes, my experiences. Change is good. Live a life of character. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Black man, go, go.